Hey y'all and thank you for tuning in. Today's video is going to be on how to properly remove crochet braids. The thing that I like most about crochet braids is the installation is very easy and the takedown is even easier. I'm going to show you how to properly take them down and then I'm going to show you guys actually how fast I can get these crochet braids out of my hair. Um, I always use scissors. Now, if you are going in and you're trying to pull these cro crochet braids out individually, it's really going to be time consuming and unnecessary for you to do that. And that is because whenever you do crochet braids, of course, you're attaching whatever type of crochet hair to your hair. In order to attach it to your hair, you have to create a knot. And that's what you do when you use the crochet needle. You're creating a knot here at the base to keep it secure. Anything that is below the knot is your hair. Anything above the knot is just synthetic crochet hair. So it is safe for you to cut above the knot, right at the base. That's the knot. I'm gonna cut above the knot. You do not want to cut below the knot or you're gonna be cutting your hair. So my scissors, I'm gonna pull on it, identify where the knot is. I can feel that the knot is here. So I'm gonna cut right above that. Okay. And then all I have left is this tiny piece of hair. So just grab and I pull it out. And that is how easy I can remove these. It is 8.35ish. So that's basically all of the front. This is my hair, individual locks that I created. I'm not gonna mess with these. And I'm gonna move on to the back. My cornrows in the back are going straight down and then I left one tail in loose and I weaved that one tail into the rest of my cornrows until it was no longer visible. But a lot of times, over time, that piece of hair may slip out and I'm gonna just use my fingers to feel to make sure that one tail is not exposed and I won't cut it whenever I start removing the crochet braids. So I'm just feeling here to see if I feel the tail or if I feel any of my hair. And everything feels as if it's intact. So no loose ends hanging, that's mine. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut, but because it's in the back and I cannot um, see as well as I could in the front, I'm gonna really take my time. And when I grab the crochet hair, I'm checking to make sure none of the tail ends of my cornrows are in the hair that I've grabbed. So again, just gonna cut here at the base. So five minutes went by and I've already cut all of the crochet braids out of my hair. And now all I have to do is remove these knots. You just pull them out. Now the time is 8.47. Well, that's 12 minutes that's gone by and I have taken all those crochet braids down. None of my cornrows are damaged as you can see. And that is just how easy it is to remove crochet braids, okay? It's not time consuming at all. One of the things that I like most about installing crochet braids. So that's about it, y'all. The very short video. I hope it was informative. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below in the comment section. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.